a week ago, the Republican effort to repeal and replace Obamacare appeared to be deader than Usher's prospects on Tinder. But <laughs> you've got to hand it to McConnell and Trump. The tortoise and the hare put their heads together, and they figured out a way to bring the dead health care bill back to life. Breaking news, tiebreaker. The vice president casting the vote to advance debate on health care legislation in the Senate. The GOP now closer to actually killing Obamacare. I don't know who's more unoriginal right now, Hollywood or Senate Republicans. So many sequels. Healthcare Bill 1, Healthcare Bill 2, Healthcare Bill in Space, Healthcare Bill versus Predator. <laughs> it's, it's the one where the Predator lost because of pre-existing conditions. You know that one? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was ovarian cysts, yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought Predator was a man? Oh, oh. <laughs> Woke up, people. You've got cysts on your awareness. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, now, the question is, how did this bill come back from the dead this time? Well, up until now, the reason Republicans have had so much trouble repealing Obamacare is that their senators couldn't agree on how to replace it. Uh, some wouldn't vote for a bill that cut Medicaid too much. Some wouldn't vote for a bill that left any Obamacare taxes in place. Some wouldn't vote for the bill because it was printed in Comic Sans. It just doesn't look <laughs> professional. But then I guess Mitch McConnell smoked some weed and was like, you can't vote for a bill. <clears throat> if you don't have a bill. <laughs> right now, it's unclear what the final bill will look like and if the GOP leadership can muster the votes to pass it. Well, now what? Yeah, no, it's an excellent question. What they voted on today was simply to start debate. This was not a vote on a health care bill. It was only a vote to begin debate on a health care bill, and it just barely passed. Sometime between now and maybe Thursday night or maybe in the early hours of the morning on Friday, they will have a final resolution of this, pass or fail. So the new GOP plan is to reinvent the national health care system by Thursday? I admire their optimism. We haven't been able to do this in seven years. Let's try it in three days, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, this isn't three real days. It's technically 20 hours of actual working time. 20 hours, that's all they have. And 20 hours is not a lot of time to build a new healthcare system. Hell, I can't even build an Ikea bookshelf in 20 hours. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. It shouldn't really take that long to put together an Ikea bookshelf, but I can't help it. I keep getting distracted by that guy in the instruction manual. <laughs> Who is he? What are his hopes and dreams? Is he naked? If so, where is his penis? <laughs> did Ikea forget to include it, or did it just roll under the couch like one of those little things, you know, the, the pointy things? Anyway, the point is 20 hours is not enough to revamp healthcare. And now, if, you, if you're really confused by what's happening, you're probably a Republican senator <laughs> who has to vote on Thursday. So, so let me try and explain what you've done. And everyone else, you, you can pay attention if you want. You see, Republicans, you want to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now, you could have gone the normal way with the public committee hearings and proposals. Uh, both parties could have uh, read and debated, but you skipped that because you knew your ideas would die of exposure. Then you tried to write the bill in a 13-dude chamber of secrets. That also <laughs> failed. So now your genius leader's new plan is to throw the entire national health care system out on the Senate floor let everyone randomly spitball on what it should be, and then you hope that 51 of them agree by the end of the week. And no one knows how that's gonna turn out. Nobody knows. The one thing we do know is Mitch McConnell is determined to pass something. How determined? This determined. Senator John McCain of Arizona, a man who was diagnosed with brain cancer just a week ago, comes rushing in on Capitol Hill to cast his vote. He traveled all the way from Arizona so that he could get to this floor and vote yes on moving forward the discussion of whether to repeal and or replace Obamacare. That's right, Mitch McConnell was so hell-bent on getting this passed, he forced a man who was just diagnosed with brain cancer to come to Washington to vote. McCain was probably like, what the hell, Mitch? Don't you know I could be dying? And McConnell was like, if we cared about people dying, <laughs> we wouldn't be doing this bill. Now shut up and vote. <laughs> shut up and vote. Hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks lines and cheeks.